opportunity to celebrate, it's always dying to celebrate. <laughs> YouTube, Blab Gods, Lodies, welcome back. Welcome back. Let's go. Guys, um, yesterday's stream, I finished uh, True Love Remix, Kanye and Triple X. You guys want to hear the final version? Here we go.
can't wear Yeezys with the cargos. Y'all know Nike don't like me, y'all take it too far though. At least have a miss of Mike, see play for Chicago. I only see three kids who watch in Chicago. And you know all the nannies did that in Nebraska. Let the kids dig the tunnel to my house like Chapo. Only neighbor in the hood with the door they can knock on. I need a light. the light on Come on, let's go. That's how we started off. <clears throat> Jesse, Jose said, are you going to post it on your YouTube channel? I don't know, man. So I was with a friend last night, and I was getting his opinion on, um, you know, where to post remixes. And it's unfortunate. Everest, hi, come here. Want to say hi? Come here. You guys want to say hi to my daughter? Okay. Come here. Wanna see this? Ah. Say hello. Look, this is you. Let me take this comment out. Let me take this out. Okay. Do you wanna say hi? Say hello. Say hello. Look. Look, what do you have here? Grapes? Want to say, yeah, what else do you, what else? She's live streaming. What else do you want to tell them? What did you do yesterday? Huh? Yeah? <laughs> yeah, she's like shy all of a sudden. Okay. Anyway, okay, Everest. All right, go to your tia. Yay, part time. Part time, part time, yay. Oh, I had to. Had to, uh, you know, it's life. Yeah, she got the grapes, man. Can you guys hear me? Is my voice coming through? Yeah, I think it is. Okay. Um, so, yeah, her name's Everest. She's 17 months. 17 months. They grow so quickly, man. Um, so we're here. We're here. We're here. We're here. Mm. So check it out, guys. First of all, I want to say um, I appreciate you tuning in. You know, this is... I've renamed these streams producer hang because i don't want to 
just like etch it in stone and say, hey, this is a producer Q&A, which it is like a big part of it is conversation Q&A. But um, oh, thank you so much, Jordan. Thank you, guys. She, she's amazing. Um, Babbitt, uh, congrats, man. Three year old. Yeah, dude. Looking forward to those uh, those days, man. Must be must be a, a blast. And probably a headache at the same time. Um, so I renamed it hang because that, that's really what we're doing, you know, and, and also just based on what I did yesterday, like just being like, Hey guys, uh, let's just like make music. You know what I mean? Like, I really don't want to limit us. Um, and also I don't want to limit myself to like the type of cool shit we can do on this channel. Like if there's days where I want to show you something or make a loop or make a beat or like, you know, whatever it is, um, or just talk about something, watch something like I, I, I want to be able to do that with you guys. You know what I mean? So um, that's the whole point. So we renamed it to hang because we're just going we're hanging out. This is a hangout like I appreciate you guys. Excuse me. You know, like some of you guys might be at work. Some of you guys might just be at home hanging out. Um, maybe at school uh, or maybe in your car, whatever it is. And uh, I really, you know, appreciate you, you know, wanting to be here and hang out with us. This is really literally a hangout um, and it's so fun. So today I want to do something cool. First of all, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon, all that YouTube stuff. Uh, let's get the algorithm going. You know, um, I'm, Want to, I want to build this channel organically with you guys and um, keep it like super organic and true, ad free, all that stuff. Um, this is not a money maker. This is a connector. Um, and uh, the more people we can connect with, the more we can you guys can connect with one another. Um, that's the entire point of this channel. Um, and it's fun, man. It's fun. So shout out to you guys. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe button. Shout out to my monthly members, to my VIPs, my Lodis, uh, my Black Gods, uh, IPCs, Squad of Knights. Shout out to you guys. Um, we're rocking and rolling, man. There's a lot of stuff going on. I'm releasing my new plugin this Friday called Plux. Haven did crazy. It's doing crazy. If you don't have Haven VST yet, go get it and richaudio.com. But Plux, we're dropping another one two weeks later. We're going to just keep dropping them. And just, I just want to, I'm in my sound design bag right now. Um, and I want to continue, I'm going to continue to put out a just really cool, different, expensive sounding, affordable synthesizer instrument plugins uh for the community and for you guys to use and you know when i started putting out drum kits uh back in 2011 2011 was a whole nother world i mean that was 11 years ago literally it was a different time you know and i just felt so energized and inspired to know that like i can sound design stuff and deploy it to the community and it could become this really valuable thing that could like really impact music. And 11 years later, you know, from the, you know, almost a hundred drum kits, sample packs over at Blab Kits, um, I'm, you know, excited to introduce my, my sort of sister uh, evolution to Blab Kits, sister company or evolution, uh, which is Enrich Audio. And uh, the goal is to enrich your production, right? Uh, rich textures, rich feeling, rich, rich uh, creativity and inspiration. So enrich audio. And it's going to come in the form of plugins, right? So uh, I have so many coming. I have so much in store. Haven was the first iteration. Um, uh, Plux is our second plugin. It's dropping this Friday. And, and all the prices are all going to be super affordable. Like, I'm not playing any games, bro. Like, uh, we're, we're going to have fun with this. So I hope you guys enjoy that. 
And as I continue to build and release these, like uh, I'm just going to stay mindful with like providing as the, the, the coolest experiences um, that I can provide for you guys. Um, Lucy Lowe. I appreciate you, Lucy. So I don't forget the day we met at your blab session in Toronto. Uh, man, those Toronto blab sessions were so fun. Toronto is literally one of my favorite places on earth. Like I love Toronto, love Toronto. Uh, MK Ultra said I never received the Haven loop pack. What? MK Ultra, email me right now. I'll send you the link. And you checked your spam too. Okay, email me, please. Um, I have a Mac, Simon. I have a Mac. Mr. Griffin said, any update on our voice EP? Dude, I am dying to put it out. I've been wanting to put it out. Um, the issue with releasing that project is clearing everything. Clearing everything. You know, like, I don't want to, I want to, like, in my mind, I want to, like, put that project out and, like, all the money that's generated from that project goes to, gets donated. Like, I'm not, that was a super fun, charitable, incredible project. Uh, and you guys watched me do the whole thing on Twitch. The issue with it is that there are a lot of co-producers and songwriters. And the, the, the amount of work it takes to um, get that type of paperwork going for every writer engineer producer co-producer um singer songwriter musician to write off and agree to donate 100 percent of the royalty points to publishing and and then the accounting especially if we put it out on something like empire that is a huge ordeal and when i went into it i didn't even think of that like, I didn't even think of it. I was just like, we're going to do this. And, you know, it'd be one thing if we did it. And it was like a free mixtape where it's like we just gave it out for free. But the whole point of it was to raise money. But in order to raise money, we have to register the publishing and writing. And then there's got to be accounting involved where all of this, all the however many tens, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 people that ended up being involved with the album have to sign off on it. They're all going to have lawyers. They're all going to have to sign off on a contract. My lawyer is going to have to make the contract. That costs money. And then after it's all said and done, if we get everyone to agree, yes, I will donate 100% of my publishing split, writing split, royalty split. Cool. We get all, every, first, we get every person to sign off on that, number one. And then the second battle is the accounting collecting it all and then donating those funds to the um you know the the charity that we chose man huge ordeal and um we tried we were talking to empire for a little bit like in the very very beginning but it's it's an ordeal and i and it would be one thing if we were putting it out for free because then it would be out already like the, our voice would have been out like on soundcloud or but then it would just be a free project and, and no one would it wouldn't it wouldn't generate any income, you know, barely any income. So, so that's the whole thing, man. That's the whole thing. So we'll see one day, man. Like I'm really proud of it, dude. It was really fun. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll start doing that stuff more though. Honestly, like how would you guys feel about that? Like not necessarily creating an album, but having upcoming artists send me vocals like all it. Cause all I need is, the BPM and the wave or even the MP3 of the acapella. Um, and then they send it and then I make songs live because I lately got guys, I've been like really, really finding a lot of joy in like building around vocals. You know, a, a lot, a lot of times for producers, it's like um, you just make beats. We make beats. Or if I'm in the studio with a songwriter or a rapper, my engineer is there. Or sometimes I'll track, you know what I mean? Like, and don't get it twisted. If I'm in, let me just say something on the side note. Um, if I'm in the studio, 
let me make this clear. If if I'm in the studio, I can basically do everything. Okay? So the only thing that I'm not super confident in, which thankfully is something I don't really have to deal with often, is miking up drums. Like, I'm not that good at it. Or miking up any live instrument. I'd rather just get an engineer that knows how to do that to come do that. But outside of that, if I'm tracking, I kill the tracking. I'm, and, and look, I, I'm not trying to sound like cocky or anything. I'm just like really confident in myself. I mean, I've been doing this for a long time. I'm a fucking killer on Pro Tools, bro. You need me to track your vocals? We will smash it. And I can make anything sound like anything. Yo, set up the auto-tune. Can I get a little reverb? Can I get a delay? But I do that in my sleep. Okay? So the only reason why I'm saying that... And, and mind you, I produce the beat. I could play the instruments. We could do some shit from scratch. You want to make a loop? I could make a loop. Let's add the drums. I'll add the drums. You want to track? Get in the booth. I'll track. You want to mix it? It's already mixed. I'm mixing it while we're recording. You want to master it? Cool. I can master it. What versions do you need? Like, this is easy shit. All that stuff is super easy. The reason why I'm bringing this up is because, look, if you're in the studio with me, I will do your job for you if you can't do your job, okay? So if you're an engineer and you're in there with me, be an engineer and be a good one because you don't want to be an engineer sitting here and Ilman's looking over your shoulder like, what are you doing? All right, move, move over. Let me, let me do this. Let me do this. Sorry. Let, let, me, let me knock this out for you. Let me do this for you. Let me do your job for you because you're too slow. And thankfully, I haven't had to do that too much. Uh, you know, especially with, I mean, my engineer, Shan, she's amazing. She's fucking incredible. I, I will never have to do that with her. But um, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, okay? <laughs> so um, anyway, how many times do you drink a week? Uh, I don't drink, actually, Swan. Um the only time that I drink is like New Year's or like if I'm literally at a place at a an event. If I'm at an event and it's a social thing and I don't really like even if I'm speaking at an event, uh, I'll drink a little bit. You know what I mean? But outside of like going to an event or being at an event, uh I barely drink. I can't do it. It just, I feel icky. It doesn't, I don't feel, it slows me down. I get a headache. I get unmotivated. I get tired. And uh, I don't want to experience any of those feelings. And the, the high you get from being intoxicated isn't enough of a positive ROI. I, I know I say ROI a lot, but it's true. It's not a good enough ROI for me personally for what I'm giving up. I mean, you know, waking up feeling shitty the next day is like the worst thing. I never want to wake up hungover. I never want to do that. You know, it's just such a shitty feeling. Um, so anyway, yeah, to answer your question, no. So listen, here's here's uh, what I want to do. We could do some Q&A and, and convo too. But here's what I want to do. You guys are going to... This is like out of nowhere. So I want to show you some of the presets on Plux, my new VST. But here's what I'm going to do. So seeing that reason, because I use reason, seeing that reason doesn't isn't compatible with VST3 and you know my plugin Plux is a VST3 there is a workaround and the workaround third party plugin called Blue Cat Patchwork and Blue Cat Patchwork is relatively stable 
um, you could, it's basically uh, a VST where there's four slots and then you can open VST threes inside of this plugin, uh, which will bypass the compatibility. And it's relatively stable. I'll say relatively right now, my blue cat patchwork on reason, when I try to open my own plugin flux and Haven in blue cat patchwork in reason, it's extremely slow and it just started doing that. And I tried all the things I tried to do the update. I, tr I did the restarts. I cleaned up my desktop. It's like, I feel like I just cleaned my room. Like my desktop is like my desktop gets crazy guys. Like you guys remember seeing it. It's a lot better now. Uh, hold on. Like, come on, man. Look at that. There's open space here now, man. I know I have shit here, but, um, what the hell? What is this? That looks important. I should probably not move it. Fuck. Why is, what is that? Oh, okay. Anyway. So, um, you know, anyway, long story short, I am experiencing this issue and reason, which is totally fine, but I want to show you guys plucks. So here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. Um, gathering all the stuff they asked for Dixon. What are you talking about? How do I even get all this stuff, bro? Dixon cider. What do you mean? Okay. I submitted a song to collect pub and now pub admin asking for producer agreements. Okay. So Dixon, let, 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 let me answer this question. Dixon said, I submitted a song to collect publishing and now publishing admin is asking for producer agreements, which is the contract listing terms, legal names of all the writers, Rosie splits, and it was just a lease. How do I even get all that stuff? So let me, under, let me understand. You submitted a song to collect pub. Where did you send it? Where did you submit it? And what is it? Is it a song with vocals? Is it a beat? I need, I need, I need some, um, context for this. Dixon, I want to help you real quick. Okay. So you submitted for your pub admin. Okay. So let me understand this Dixon. You're signed to a publishing admin, uh, a pub admin deal to a pub company, correct? And you have a song that you want to collect publishing. You want them to help you collect the publishing for. So you submitted it to them and they're asking for this stuff. Okay, so BeatStars Publishing, yeah, it's a song made by a customer. Okay, Dixon, are you a producer or an artist? That's where I'm getting confused here. Are you rapping? Are you singing? Did you produce it? Did you do all of the above? Who's on the song? Like, come on, give it to me, man. Give it to me, bro. Pause. Come on, man. Break it down, dude. Okay, so are you a, uh, are you a vocalist? Are you an artist or are you a producer? That's what I need to know. Okay, so you produced it. So yes, you if you want your publishing company to collect your publishing royalties for you, which is what they do. The publishing company has they need all of the information, bro. They need all of it. They need every single detail. So. They need, if there's a co-producer on there, they need to know the co-producer. They need to reach out to the co-producer. They want, they have to know, basically, this is what it is, Dixon. And, and this is actually, I'm really glad you brought this up, Dixon, because this is going to help a lot of you guys. If you are, if you are signed to a publishing company that's collecting publishing for you, whether it's an admin deal or a co-pub deal, whatever kind of deal it is, a deal is a deal. The publishing company, their job is to collect your royalties. They are not able to collect your royalties unless they have all of the information for every single person involved with the music you're making. So Dixon, they're going to need all of that information. They're going to need everyone's government name. They're going to need probably an email. They're going to need to know what publishing company PRO that they're signed to. So is the co-producer signed with ASCAP? Are they with BMI? 
Uh, what publishing company are they signed to? Do they have a publishing company that they're signed to? And if they're not, that's fine. And if they are signed to a company, what company are they signed to? And then you need to do this for every single human being involved in the song. The rappers. Okay, cool. What's the rapper's name? We need their government name. We need a, a way to contact them. What's their publishing company? Who's their PRO? The publishing company needs all of this shit. They are not able to collect for you unless they do. Or at least they're not able to register the song for you. Okay? Um, so make sure you guys have all this stuff. And, you know, I, I think this brings up a good point. That's one of the big um, uh, points of friction right now within the community is no one knows where anything is from right you got a loop from splice you got a thing from here you got a thing from over here and then you had a guy in the studio who fed you a couple rap lines and now they want publishing and now they want to get the percent and no one's talking about it oh i don't know what percentage i get i don't even know what publishing is oh let's just split it 50 50 and then no one's signing anything no one's putting anything in writing it's just all ch 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 chat and then when it comes time for the publishing companies to say, cool, we have a song and you want to put it out and it's coming out. If they don't have the info, they can't register it. And if they can't register it, nobody's making money. Or at least not the right people. Right. And again, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to rail this to the fucking ground until. People who don't understand start to understand me. This is why Illmind caught so much flack and so much hate years ago and still to this day for the whole um, master clearance producer agreement, okay? Yes, you need... I'm going to get a little aggressive right now, but... Yes, you need an agreement. You need contracts. As much as we hate contracts and labels and blah, 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 blah. You need them. You want to make money? You want to collect publishing? <laughs> I know I sound like a dick right now, but I'm kind of kidding, but I'm not. You want to collect publishing. Oh, I want to get publishing deal. I want to make a money from my music. I want to, yes. Oh, I need, I want to, I want to become successful, but I don't want to sign public. I don't want to sign contract. Oh, I don't know what the percentage is. Oh, fuck your master clearance. I just want royalty free. Everyone gets to use it. Oh, it's okay. If I have the same piece of music and a thousand other people have it, then that's okay. Because if I register it first, then they won't be able to register. It. And that's okay. Because if I, if I do it first, then I'll be okay. And then DMCA takedown. Oh, okay. No, everything is okay. Everything is royalty free. We don't need contract. Oh, we get it from Splice. Everything is trustworthy on Splice. Oh, let's just do it this way because none of us know what we're doing and we don't hate, we hate contracts and we don't need agreements and fuck the labels and publishing. What's publishing? I got a publishing deal with ASCAP. Oh, wait, that's not a publishing deal. That's a PRO. What does PRO stand for? Performing right organization. Okay, I don't know what that is. But anyway, let's just do it our way because none of us know what we're doing. We're just going to put samples out and jump kits and we're not going to care about any of the contract. But then we're just going to create music and everything should be free. Yay! But then I'm wondering why none of us are getting paid for any of our streaming because no one knows what we are creating because we're not doing it with contract. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, Ilmine, why are you such an asshole? You put out your sample pack and then you put master clearance. So what? We have to clear it with you and we have to split the publishing with you? Oh, you're so greedy. You're already rich. Why can I just use your loop for free? And the publishing, I want to keep the publishing. Why do you have to take half of it? Okay, so uh, I hope that helped Dixon. But uh, you know, in, in all seriousness, it, it, it's it's a thing. It's a thing. Um, it's a thing. It's a thing. That's it's it's the the community has dug itself into a hole that it, it's not irreversible, but it's a hole that is pretty deep. It's a hole that's pretty deep that needs to be dug dug out and 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 requires some type of lifeline to start getting the momentum going to get get back up. Cuz right now you're getting strikes. You're getting DMCA strikes. You're you you have um um issues with co-production and people not being able to collect or publish. I mean Boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy. We got a long way to go. Got a long way to go. You know? Yeah, Babbitt, listen. Here, Here's what I'll say. Here's the last thing I'll say, and then we're going to move on. I've always said this from day one. I knew this was going to happen. And so I chose to be as transparent as possible with usage because this is this is ip we guys we're music producers we produce stuff from thin air it's called intellectual property ip you own the intellectual property you're building literally building things from scratch with your hands and your mind you're manifesting intellectual property that you own. And that's valuable. Okay? That's fucking valuable. <clears throat> okay, so here's here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. Let's move on from this. Um here's what we're gonna do. So as I was saying, I'll keep it short. I'll keep it short. Reason is giving me issues with blue cat patchwork is giving me issues in reason to open VST3, my own plugin. So here's what I'm about to do. <laughs> I've never used FL Studio. I'm not. I used it like once many, many years ago. It probably looks way different now. I never had an interest in using FL Studio. I've never used FL Studio in my life. I have no desire to use FL Studio. But today, what I'm going to do is... I'm literally going to go buy right here. I'm going to buy FL Studio. I've never used it in my life. I'm going to buy it. Okay. Just so that I can open my plugin. Plux and Haven. Just so I can open my own plugin. And fuck around. I have no interest in making beats in it. I know a lot of you guys are professional FL Studio users, so I might need some of your help on maybe some little things, how to open up a plugin. <laughs> so I'm sure you guys can help me. I'm a Reason guy, but I'm going to buy FL Studio right now. 
And then after I buy it, we're going to install it. And then after I install it, I'm going to fucking open my plugin. Plux. Let's fucking go. All right. Let's freaking do this. When I curse, does it affect the... Um, does it affect the fucking algorithm? I don't give a shit. I don't care about the stupid algorithm, honestly. You can smash whatever you want. Just make sure it's the like button. All right, let's fucking get this FL Studio, shall we? So let's let's buy it off of who should I buy it off of, guys? Image line directly to directly with the source. Should we go to the peeps? Directly to the peeps. All right, I'm going to go back to YouTube. I'm going to minimize this chat. Okay. So what am I doing here, guys? Is this it? Image line? Come on, FL gurus. Come on, Illmind's about to download FL Studio. Okay, so buy now. This is it, right? Boom, boom, boom. Buy now. Fucking buying it. Which one, dude? What's the what's this? All the plugins? Native plugins available at the time of purchase. Is it worth it? Is it is the do I get it with every, do I get it, the whole thing? Is it a waste? Do I need these plugins? Are they worth it? Okay. Which one do I get? Why do they have a million versions, bro? Or do I what what what's which one, guys? Which one? Which which is which is the one? I'm not going to use FL though. I just want to open my own plugin. Like I'm not in here fucking oh, FL Studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I just switched over to FL. Yeah, dude, yeah. Get FL gang. Look at me. I'm dragging my hi hats. <laughs> Look at my grid. <laughs> FL Studio. <laughs> click click. <laughs> oh, I put the limiter on the master. My my uh, my my low my 808 sounds so crunchy now because I put the FL master on it and my my snares and kicks are more sharp. My snares and kicks sound different than yours because I use FL Studio because of the because of the limiter on my master because of the limiter on my FL Studio master. It sounds better than yours and your DAW because on FL Studio master when I have a kick and a snare and an 808 it sounds more thicker and it's sounds more crunchy than yours because you use Ableton and oh you use Keybase you use Ableton use Logic but guess what I use FL Studio and on my master channel on FL Studio I have a master channel I have a limiter and it makes my drum sound so much bigger and better than yours <clears throat> I think I'm just going to get the cheap shit. <laughs> <laughs> Limited playlist features? No. No audio clips? I need audio clips, bro. All-in-one virtual studio, full song creation. A bundle. I don't need plugins, bro. I don't need stupid limiter. I don't need any of that shit. So I'm going to get this one. I don't need your your fucking plugins, bro. No, I don't want any of these packs. G generic samples? I'm definitely not getting that. All right, let me move my shit so you guys don't see my see my PD. You know what PD stands for? Personal data. You know what I mean? You don't see my personal data. You can't see my personal data. All right. All right, so let me check out of this bitch. New customer. Bear with me. I'm going to enter all of my infos. Okay. Nope, we're not in New York anymore, baby. 
We're not in New York anymore, baby. Sorry. We dipped. <laughs> Bro, that password's fire. What are you talking about? That password is really strong. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not a robot, no. I don't know what I'm accept I don't know what terms I'm accepting, but I'm I'm gonna have to go ahead and accept them. They better be good. All right. I can't wait. I can't wait to use FL Studio. Now my drums can sound good. Uh, my drums can sound crunchy and bumping. Finally, I get to have a good drums because I used FL Studio. RJC, no one one cup of coffee is not forty six bucks. The funny thing is that. I actually, you're, it actually sounds like you're not even, like that sounds accurate. Like in any other situation, that would be a joke, but part of me is like, oh, he's probably not joking. There's probably a place that sells $46 artisanal goat, baby goat titty milk imported from Antarctica artisanal organic range free grass fed range free gluten free organic vegan free no pesticides no no biotin no fluoride free sugar free salt free chemical induced free baby fucking thai goat milk latte Bro, I just gave Image Line 200 bones. I just bought FL Studio for 200 bones, bro. Okay. Order status. Boom, boom, boom. Let's say download a registration code. I have my, my registration code. Wait. In order to be added to the My License section of your Image Line account, Go to your My Account page, find the My Licenses, find the product, uh, download. Okay, yeah, whatever. All right, cool. Let me do that now. All right, so My Account, Orders, Tickets, Video Tutorials, Your Next FL Studio. Okay, you still need to verify your email address so let me go ahead and verify guys bear with me okay password changed okay um damn somebody's trying to log into my hulu account bro i've been getting hat like a lot of hackers trying to attack me bro it's fucked up Okay, so email success. We have activated two-factor authentication. Okay, great. Thanks, guys. All right, so uh, let's see. Unlock products. Redeem 20-digit FL Studio plugins or vouchers. All right, so I have to... If you have a 20-digit serial number or any other Amazon, so please all right, unlock. Download. Offline unlock. I'm extremely confused right now all right hold on hey fl studio professors and professionals i need your help where do i go when i'm inside my fl studio image line account which button do i press to start downloading my fruity loops program Do I go to unlock products? 
And if so, what the fuck do I do? <laughs> Download. That makes sense. But I bought it. Free trial? This is not super user friendly. I'm downloading the Mac version of Fruity Loops. So is this right, guys? Am I, is this the one I need to download? This is right. Okay. Oh, it's under my licenses. Uh, my licenses. FL Studio. Latest announcement from our download page. Oh, yeah, this is correct. This is correct. All right. And then after I download, install. Unlock. Uh, menu, unlock. Uh, FL Studio by entering your image line account, email address, and password. Oh, okay. Easy enough. In the help about window. Menu about unlock FL Studio. Oh, so, okay, so menu about unlock FL. Guys, am I frozen right now? Can you hear me? All right, am I back? Apologies. Bro, I got hacked, dude. I got hacked, bro. Fucking got hacked. While we're waiting for this, let me show you. Let's just go for it. Uh, continue. Okay. Continue. Continue. Agree. I don't know what I'm agreeing to, but that's fine. Just as long as. Okay. All right. Validate. Validate in the packages, please. <clears throat> Vic said they could have sent you your producer you bought. Uh, it's all good, man. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is installing. Check out um check out this uh flux ad. It's cool. Actually, that's our new animation. Isn't that cool?
Okay, so this looks like it's almost done installing. Okay. Oh, it looks like we're good. Let me put this over here. Okay, so now what we're going to do is open FL. Look at FL. I have it. 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 Yes. Would like to access the microphone. Why you need the mic, bro? Just kidding. Why is this lyric up? What is this? I'll be your Madonna. Why why is this here? What is this? Lolivox.com? What is that? Is that supposed to pop up? Why did this pop up? Okay, I don't want you motherfuckers seeing my shit. We have sent the verification code. All right, let's go grab it. Image line verification. Okay, copy. Move this here. Continue. License was installed. FL will now restart. Do you want to save your current project? Hell no, I'm not saving this shit. The hell is that? I don't want to hear that, bro. All right. Yay. 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 My new name is looking good. Oh, and this is so confusing. When do I click here? The piano roll? This program sucks, dog. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <clears throat> All right, how the F do I import motherfucking plugins up in this shit? Huh? How do I do this? Okay, so here's what we're going to do, bro. We're going to go to my hard drive, and we are going to install Plux. Oh, the Plux booklet. Okay, so I'm just, let me let me grab it from... Let me actually do this. Let me go to Haven first. So we're going to install Haven. So as you know, we have a cool PDF instruction manual here for installing Haven. So for Mac OS VST3, we're going to take our... Actually, let me double click so it don't go away. Okay, so yeah, we're going to go to um, Mac HD library, audio, plugins, VST3. And then in here, we are going to drag our Mac OS X VST3 
for Haven. Enrich Audio Haven. And then, <coughs> oh shit, wait. Oh, yeah, never mind. We're going to do the same thing for Plux, my new plugin. Drop it on Friday. Shameless plugs. Plux VST. Boom. VST3. So we have Enrich Audio Haven and Enrich Audio Plux. Dude, I'm fucking, oh my god, dude. I'm fucking making plugins, bro. This is fucking dope, dude. This is fucking fun, man. Fuck. All right. Okay. So then what you have to do is scan. Now, here's where I need your help. FL Studio Gurus. Here's what I need from you. How do I scan for plugins? The first FL Studio guru to help me with that, I will be thankful for. Go to add on top left and then click manage plugins. Add. Where the fuck is the ad, bro? Add. This menu is janky. Well, look at all this. Manage plugins. My brain is about to explode right now because what is this, bro? Okay, manage plugins. Why is my cursor so small like I'm on a PC? Okay. Manage plugins. Scan will take a while depending on how many VSTs. I got a lot. <laughs> okay, anyway. How do okay, so what do I click? Find installed plugins? I don't want to do anything wrong. This is not going to mess with any of my other shit, right? Combine VST and VST3 versions of a plugin? I don't want to do that. That might screw everything up. Try to prevent pop up windows, rescan plugins with errors. Rescan previously verified plugins. I guess we can do that. I don't want to combine. Okay. Um, type in Plux. Find install. There's nothing here to find though. So what do I click? Find installed plugins. Come on, FL Studio Gurus. I need your help. What do I do? I click this, yes or no? I don't want to mess up my ish. Should I click it? Scan plugins or find installed plugins? All right, I'm just going to click it, bro. Here we go. Access files. Fine. I trust you. Fine. I trust you. Let's look at all of your minds plugins. I don't really have anything crazy. All of the stuff I have, you have. It's all the same shit. I don't have anything crazy. It's all the same shit. You look at it and you see it. That's okay, okay, okay. This program is shut, bro. FL Studio is slow, dog. Like, I remember when I bought FL Studio, you know, and then I was like scanning my plugins. Like, man, listen, I just want to make music, dog. I just want to make music, and I'm sitting here. Looking like a looking like a database program. I don't know what. I'm not trying to look at this. I'm just trying to make music, man. So yeah, to answer your question, FL Studio trash, you know what I mean? Because like I downloaded the shit the other day. I spent two racks, two bones on, two hundred bones on it. And motherfucker, I couldn't goddamn I couldn't even make no music because my goddamn motherfucking 
programs and programming. I'm looking at this, you know, scanning VST. I don't even know what VST mean. You know what I mean? Like, goddamn, I just want to make some music. You know what I mean? Like, and I'm looking at this screen like, God, ah, oh, I quit, man. So to answer your question, yeah, FL Studio trash, man. Spent 200 bones on this, man. I just want to make music. And I'm looking at this screen like, come on, dog. That's that bullshit. FL Studio trash. You, matter of fact, you can't even make music on FL Studio, to be honest with you. I goddamn spent $200 on this program, download this shit. I'm looking at the screen. I'm looking at a bunch of words. I don't even know what this is. I'm a musician. So yeah, to answer your question, FL Studio trash. Ooh, let's actually, all right, so H should have passed. Let's see. E, enrich audio. It might be under E or, um, let me see. E. Man, I can't even scroll. I can't even scroll up to check the plugins while they scan it. I can't even scan my own scan while the scanning is happening. FL Studio is trash, man. FL Studios trash. I can't even scroll up to scan my own scan because it's scanning. So if FL scanning, you can't scan. Look, I'm trying to go up to man. So let me get it straight. FL scanning, you cannot scan. I can't scan my own scan. FL Studio trash, man. Brain, I forgot about that one. I have some weird, really some weird, really weird. Oh, I see Enrich Audio Haven. Um, some really weird VSTs over the years, like old school ones. That I need to start using again. Uh. Oh, Ice Purr said it takes like 10 seconds if you uncheck verify plugins options. God damn it. Come on, Ice Purr. Why didn't you tell me that earlier, Ice Purr? No, it's all good. Let's do it. Let's do it this way. I'm good. While we're waiting for this. Oh. Oh, yeah, it does that. The occasional. I'm like too lazy to like uninstall certain things. So, I'll be getting stuff like this. So, I'll just like. And then I also don't like how FL is like full screen by default. <laughs> Is 
This is a lot of plugins. You guys can literally see all of my shit. <clears throat> I'll just let it keep going, Ice Per. It's fine. I've come this far. We're gonna finish what we started. Finish what you started. So I might explode TR5 white channel. Riffer. TR5 linear phase EQ. TR5 CSR hard. ADSR sample manager. Profit V3. Quad compressor. Lush 101. Wurlitzer V. Dagger. T Rex CS Microme. RX6 voice denoise. Arcade. Camel Crusher. Skyscape, Centaurus, Guitar, Red Boy, Alter Boy, Absinthe 5, Bohemian, Violin, Phrase Box, Tora Verb, Modo Bass, AC Case, TR5 Master Match. What is this? Korg Legacy? You know. What the hell? Mono Poly, Poly 6, MS 20 FX, Fox V, Apple Guitar J2. <clears throat> so if you're just tuning in i'm installing i just bought fl studio and um i installed it and it's scanning all of my plugins right now and the only reason why i bought this for now at least is so that i can open my own plugin inside of fl and show you guys around because the DAW that i do use reason does not currently support um, VST3. It will later in the year. But right now, it does not support VST3, so um, it kind of does. But you have to do a workaround with Blue Cat Patchwork, and Blue Cat Patchwork is acting a little funny right now. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to just get FL and open it in FL. That's all. That's all. That's all it is. That's all we're doing. We got a lot of UAD action going. We're on you, you views. UAD, UAD, UAD. You guys mess with the UAD stuff? No, I'm not interested in using other DAWs glacier sound I have literally I literally have zero interest um I love reason I'm content with reason I love pro tools content with pro tools those are my environments those are programs that work with my brain I love them I will marry them I will have children with them my children's children will have children with them we will rename our children's 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 with them. They will have stakes in all of my investments moving forward. Uh, I will honor them. I will adore them. I will love them. I will cherish them. I will go to the ends of the earth for them and with them. Track Slayer, welcome. Track Slayer just became a blap god. Let's go, baby. <laughs> welcome, dude. I was waiting for you, man. <laughs> hey, 
It's funny because Reason has been getting some flack lately. Um, look, I, I don't know enough about the flack to comment on that, but I don't know, man. It's a good program that helps people make music. But that's it. You know, all the other stuff, I don't really care much for, you know. Um, we have to be really grateful for these, these plug-in companies, man. You know, make, creating stuff like this is not, and, and now that I've gotten my first taste of creating a plug-in, like creating a DAW is a huge ordeal. huge ordeal and then and, and there's a reason why there's only like a few that you can count on one hand you know that are successful and that people use that kind of you know be lucrative but also um um provide value all right, so right now, if you're looking at the screen, you guys are seeing the M, okay? That's Melda Productions, and Melda is my one of my favorite effects audio companies of all time. So if you're looking for a company that has amazing effects plugins that are slept on, that not many people use, that are extremely powerful and sound really good, check out Melda Production. Now, obviously, you can see I have literally everything that they've ever made. I will die for Melda Production. I will marry Melda Production. We will go to the town hall for Melda Production. I will get a tattoo of Melda Production I'll have kids with Melda Production. My kids' kids will be renamed after Melda Production. My last name is now Melda Production. I will go to the ends of space and time for Melda Production. Melda Production does not sponsor this channel. In fact, I have no sponsors for this channel, in fact. We are not running ads on this channel, in fact. <clears throat> Such a fun stream, right? So fucking entertaining. So entertaining. <clears throat> I told y'all FL Studio trash, you know what I mean? You can't even make music in this thing. All this thing, I bought, listen, I bought FL Studio the other day. I couldn't even make no music. I felt like I was, I felt like I was at a, at a, at a cubicle. I felt like, I, I feel like I'm in a cubicle. I can't even make music in FL Studio. I don't even think it lets you make music. I don't even think you can make music. You just sit here and look at a screen. I spent 200 bones on this. I feel like I'm in a cubicle. God damn, I have a lot of plugging. <laughs> As you can see, my addiction for plugins is real. Okay, whatever. Some old ass plugin that I don't even use anymore. Oh my gosh. I gotta start using phaser tan again, yeah. <clears throat> the plugins never end. We have so many plugins over the years collecting plugins and never deleting any of them. I keep all my plugins forever. Some of these plugins are from 2006. 
Some of these plugins are from 2007. I've been collecting plugins for almost 20 years. Before there was a plugin, I had a plugin. I had them early and I keep them. But the crappy thing is that older plugins don't work on some of the DAWs because the older plugins are 16 bit or 32 bit because back then the plugins weren't that cool. Well, they were, that's not fair, but they weren't super advanced. So now with the 64 bit, you're not allowed to open the older plugins, but guess what? I said, fuck it and kept them anyway and you could open them in blue cat patchwork yeah 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 for example i have this plugin called Sintorus, and i bought it in 2010 i think but you could open it in blue cat audio patchwork <clears throat> FL Studio trash, bro. Like I said, this shit trash, you know what I mean? Sitting here. I don't see no piano roll. I don't see no piano roll. I don't see not one got goddamn fader. Okay? I don't see no plugins. Well, I see plugins, but I don't see plugins. I don't see no folders. I don't see no EQs. I don't see no waveforms. I don't see no drums. I don't see no compressors. I don't see no rack mounts. I don't see no keys. I don't see no pads. I don't see no loops. I don't see no DAWs. I don't see nothing. <clears throat> Who has beat discovery? Username, you don't have beat discovery. You don't you don't username, you don't have um where is it? Pitch proof. You don't have pitch proof. I guarantee you that. That's the OG from A got um AG and music. That's the OG pitch wobbler from back in the day when you couldn't wobble shit before RC20, before all that shit. What else do I know y'all don't have? <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Can I use this program while this is scanning? All right, so let's try it. Minimize. All right, let's try this. Let me ask you guys, the FL gurus here. How do I import a plugin? What do I click? Plugin, plugin database, generator, installed. No. Where do I go for my plugins? No, they're not presets. VST. Where do I like where where do I go? Where do I go to load a plugin? Do I need to wait? I have to wait. Look at all this. Oh, I have to wait. See? FL Studio trash, bro. 
You can't even use it while it's scanning. It trash, bro. No, I'm just kidding. Um, it looks like it's finished. Looks like it's finished. Finally. Looks like it's finished. Um, <laughs> this is a lot of plugins. You guys don't have faux scion by D16. I guarantee you that. I get. I recommend it though. Check that out. PSP Vintage Warmer is OG. That's done me very well. Riffer is great for like creating like. Riffer was one of the early like AI generative riff makers. Um, <clears throat> the entire Melda production. Okay. Anyway. So that's looks like it's finished. So now. Is there a browser I could just like search my plugin? Like this is confusing here. Plugin database makes no sense. So generators with the keyboard, um, synth, like are these mine? Are they FLs? What am I clicking? Where I just want to, I just want to open my preset. Please help. Please, please help, help, listen, help, I need help right now, I need help, guys. Back to the window I just minimized, this, I just double click it, could I just double click it, enrich audio, okay, so, and, and, and by the way, none of this is in order. What is, what kind of, this is not alphabetical. What kind of order is, this is not the alphabet. This is the FL bet. AKA, this makes no sense. The FL way. All right, Haven. Double clicked. Nothing happens when I double click. Trash. Okay, so these are all the AUs. Let me go to VST3. Let's go to um, Plux. Enrich Audio Plux. Of course, it's not in... Okay, here we go. Double click. Nothing. I just want to... Can I drag it in? No. Click on the plus in the channel rack. Where the hell is the plus? And what is the channel rack? Okay. I'm looking for a plus. Looking for a plus. Is it here? Is it here? Is it here? Is it here? Plus. Here? No. Plus. I'm looking for a plus. I can't find a plus. Plus. Okay, if I can type it in the search, where's the search bar? Here. Okay, let's try that. Enrich audio. Search. Okay. So I have to go to installed generators new. Installed. So Plugin database installed generators and then new to access my plugins. That is literally the worst. That's the worst thing I've ever seen. All right, so I'm going to double click it. Why is it not popping? Do I need to drag it? Like, okay, cool. Okay, so you should be able to just double click it. By the way, yay. Okay, hold on. Oh, my MIDI is not reading. Oh, I have to. I have to do the MIDI. Okay, so let me try to figure this out because FL is super confusing. Um, how do I do my MIDI? Make sure. I mean, it it should just automatically like detect my my MIDI controller. 
complete control 32. Yeah, so do add output input complete control. Um, what do I my output should be duet for sure. My input should be complete control, right? And then is there a save here? There's no save button. I just X out. Okay, nothing yet. Help me guys. Audio enable. Where's audio? Audio settings. Um, my duet's already plugged in, I believe. Oh, duet. Okay. MIDI. Complete control. I mean, it's already in there. Enable. That's so trash. You have to enable. Why doesn't it just enable automatically? That's terrible, bro. This shit's whack. This program sucks. Like, you couldn't just figure that out by default? Okay. Guys, we're finally in. Finally in. Okay. All right. So here's my plugin. This plugin is called Haven. This is my first, the first plugin that we put out a couple weeks ago. Oh my God. So cool. Wait, where's all my, what happened to my presets? Oh, I know. I know why. Okay. Let me X this out. All right. So let me load up Plux. We finally did it after all this time. Okay. So here's what I want to do for you guys. Um, let's get serious for a second. So really quickly, I just wanted to show you my plugin um, called Plux. And uh, I don't know why... Plux is showing up as Haven. That's not correct. <clears throat> That's not correct. That's not correct. Oh, VST3. Okay, so how do I get rid of these? Right click, right click, delete, delete, right click. Delete. Okay, that's why. All right, so I have to go to VST3. Sleepy Montana, welcome, welcome. Okay, so you can't hear audio. All right, so let me uh, let me enable the audio. So I have to go to loop. Loop back. All right, we're gonna do this, guys. Let me loop in the audio. Boom, and then we're going to go to Sources, FL Studio, on. Okay, let me see. Is the mute when capturing? You don't want to mute it while capturing. Stop. Okay. You should be able to hear. Okay, so let me go ahead and drag in my plugin Plux VST3 into FL. And that is not the one. Okay. So at least you're getting audio. All right. So for whatever reason, maybe this version, even VST, this might be like a demo version. No. Um, okay. All right, so something is happening with the plugin, um, the way it's reading the plugin. It's really not being friendly right now. Let's try the audio unit. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and right click and delete that. You know, it's weird because 
let's see it's probably reading like it probably scanned like older versions of the plugin because i created the plugin on this computer and um it's probably reading like older versions of it so it's like getting confused um but that sucks because that really shouldn't be the case uh okay so i'm, I'm trying audio units uh because you there is an au version as well but um for whatever reason it's just not sorry guys man this is this is just very unfortunate vst3 enrich audio plux like this is 100 percent the correct plugin Okay, so you can press F6 to bring up the channel rack and click the add button to open a synth. Okay. Um, oh, this is very disappointing, guys. I'm really sorry I put you through this. Like, it opens in reason, but, like, it doesn't even open the right plugin. I really don't understand. At least you're getting audio. Go to channel rack and right click on one of the sounds and click insert and then find your plugin. Okay, let's try that. So go to channel rack, right click on channel rack. What? Where's channel rack? I don't know what that is. And click insert. I'm trying to right click everywhere. Dude, FL's confusing. Channel rack. This is our channel rack. So right click. I'm right clicking and nothing is happening. I'm right clicking and nothing's happening. Maybe I'll do that. Um mini patcher sampler. No. Oh. Let's see, select from channel rack in plus. Okay, so plus more plugins. Okay, this looks like I might be on the right track. Let's go to VST3. I don't understand why, how this would bypass it though. Intel. Oh, I need. Okay. I think I see what's going on here. It. Hmm. Let me just see this. Try this one more time. I don't think it's going to work. Yeah. See, it just, it opened up the same old janky version. It's not even the right plugin. <clears throat> like here's the thing let me just look let me just oh. okay so yeah why can't I minimize this oh it's like in its own world okay I see all right so let me just minimize this um this is uh, my plugin Plux and I don't understand why Plux is coming up as a different plugin. Maybe it's something that I did. That's really weird. Did FL fuck my shit up? Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Let me see. Which audio? Oh. Wait. Oh. Oh. I think I figured it out. No, wait. Wait. 
I think I figured it out, yo. I think I felt screwed up. Um, I think I felt screwed my shit up. Okay, hold on. Okay, guys, bear with me. Bear with me. I think I figured out the, the issue. So I'm going to go to um, library, audio, plugins, BST3. We're going to get rid of all of this stuff. We're going to get rid of the old ones. All right. Empty trash. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is bring in. Haven, because I do want to put Haven in there. So we're going to put Haven. Okay. Low, low world. No, watch. I got it. Trust me. And then. So FL like consolidated my plugins and it combined everything um that that scan definitely screwed things up for sure trust me all right good thing i have my plugin on the cloud <clears throat> and i can just i can just download it so I'm like literally downloading my own plugin back because FL somehow screwed my plugin up, which is weird, weird to say, but it definitely did for sure. Yeah, I'm about to, I'm doing that right now. All right, so let me see. Let's just grab this, right click, unzip. Double click. Oh, whoops, fuck. Okay, we got that one, let's get Plux. Sorry, guys, just bear with me. Bear with me one second. Okay. Something very weird is happening. Something very, very, very messed up is happening. PC. AU. I think... I think FL, because I literally just, I used this plugin yesterday. <clears throat> I literally used it yesterday. Flux. Um, it was on Reason, but and it was pretty slow, but I was using it. So based on the dates that I'm seeing here, um, in doing the scan in FL, um it somehow consolidated my old plugin haven with 
um, my new plugin, Plux. So essentially what FL did, because this is the actual computer that I created my plugins in, what FL did was during the scan, it somehow screwed it up and consolidated Haven with Plux. And, and essentially what it did was it basically deleted Plux. Um, username FL definitely did that. I just used it. Literally. I just used my own plugin Plux yesterday. Fine. You know? Um, I'll even go ahead and open Reason. Watch. Op open Reason. I'll try to open it with Blue Cat Audio. And let's see if Plux actually comes up. <clears throat> All right. Let's try it. Let's try it. I may be wrong, but we'll see. Okay, so here's Reason. All right, so blue cat patchwork. See, oh wait, hold on. Okay, sorry. All right, so boom, blue cat patchwork. It might be a little slow. VST three, and I'm gonna I'm gonna open it up from my hard drive. So this is the original version of Plux, which is now corrupted because of FL. Okay. So this is Haven's going to pop up. Watch. If Plux pops up, I'll be very surprised. <clears throat> if Haven pops up, then FL 1 million percent decided to consolidate my two plugins for whatever reason um, and definitely screwed it up. Let's see. You know, Blue Cat's been a little slow. This is why I downloaded FL. No, I don't need FL customer service. It's just a bad feature. See, it's not even pulling up now because it's confused. It's like, wait, this plugin was good yesterday. Why is it weird now? Okay, see? Now now it worked. Ooh, it sounds weird. Okay. So, why is it opening? Like I so I I opened this literally from my hard drive, right? So I'm going to go ahead and quit reason. All right. So reason opened it. Fine. Now, when I go to FL, and I'm literally going to go, um, I'm going to re-drag. So let's do this. Let's do it in real time. Um, HD library audio plugins and guys thank you so much for sticking with me here vst3 so i have haven in there i'm going to literally click on the same file that i used to open in reason so we're going to go to enrich audio plux um mac vst3 plux boom now it's in my VST3 folder. You see that? Okay. So. I'm going to go to FL. Maybe I have to quit, but plus more plugins. Um, now, here's a weird thing. Do I Maybe I need to scan it again. Options, manage plugins, and then check the folders in the middle left. Okay, I see. All right. Um, let me go down to VST3 and go to Enrich Audio Plux. So I'm going to double click that. Oh, 
unknown reason. Maybe I just have to rescan the new version. Username, no. I mean, there's so many people that opened it fine. The first plugin I, I put out, Haven, was totally fine. I mean, a few people had like, you know, um, so I have to do the scan over again. Okay, let me rescan. Um, but maybe it'll, I'll just rescan that one. You know what I mean? Okay. So don't rescan stuff that I already scanned. So let's see. All right, I'll unclick verify plugins. Okay. So let's rescan. All right, cool. Yeah, it makes sense. Should be quick. All right, see, it looks like it did it. Let's see if it rescanned the new Plux. PST3. Yeah, I mean, I see it here. Excuse me. Okay, so let's try this one more time. How about, how about this? Let's do a new session. I don't know how to do that here. Okay, edit file. Can't you just like load new session? File. Oh, okay. Um, so I'll just open it here. All right, so installed generators vst3 okay so let's see enrich audio plux here we go moment of truth there was a problem all right let me restart fl do not save okay let me restart Enrich audio plugs. Moment of truth. Nope. Still reading it as Haven. Oh. Wow. Man, Haven's fucking fire. is working fine.
Dash, the skin is fire. You are tripping, Dash. That's one of the most fire skins I've ever seen. All the skins on these plugins are just a solid color, gradient, boring. Oh, nice and simple with buttons. No. This is this is this is this is a work of art, my friend. <laughs> It's a visual representation of the textures that you hear. Yeah, all of the enriched audio plugins are gonna have trippy visuals. We're not, we're, uh, I'm not here doing what everyone else is doing, man. We're, we're, we're doing something cool and weird and different and fly. I wish I could show you plucks. just going through haven go to enrichaudio.com now if you want to get it but i'm really having fun playing with this in fruity loops Just going through all the presets. so proud of this plugin dude it's uh, i'm just i'm ah uh, come on
you guys feel free feel free to rip the audio and sample all this stuff that i'm playing i don't care All my chords are just Final Fantasy <laughs> RPGs. Let's do some major chords. I'm going to try to load a plux again. Might as well just keep going through them, right?
This is Haven. My plug in. That's fire right there. Throw cassette on there, or like RC20. You don't even need to. Tovin. Next play set. Let it breathe. You guys are going to make beats from all this, these things I'm doing. I did that one already. All right. Could go all day. <laughs> De Blasso. Thank you. 
Inshallah. Telegrip. Instant fire with this plugin. Yay. Uh, Super producer Bandit said, um, you're going to release additional preset banks for Haven in the future. Uh, as of right now, no. You know, it's weird because like, um, I... I'm kind of I kind of approach these plugins like their albums where it's like you know I know technically like these days you can put an album out on streaming and like you can make changes to it or whatever but I like for like I I like creating one organism that's just meant to be what it is you know like I like the idea that Haven is what Haven is from the GUI 
to the trippy graphics to <coughs> excuse me the textures and the the specific preset names and the it's just it's a it's it, it's an experience or at least that's what I wanted to create with this plugin and um so I like for these plugins I'm kind of treating them as like album rollouts in a way where it's like this idea of like it being its its own thing um that is spe that's what makes it special you know um so I know it's a little bit of a weird answer but uh, I, I, these things, these things to me are so sacred and they're like, they are what they are. Um, and I like the idea that like, if you have Haven, like you have the same exact one, uh, that other people have too. There, there's something cool about that. I, I know that's not like, you guys might think I'm a weirdo for that, but. All right. I'm going to try to open plucks again. Cause I'm really. I mean, Haven is just, I'm really proud of this, this VST, like, there's so many VSTs out there, there's so many, like, sounds, and just, there's a million and one sounds, so I just wanted to create something different, but, like, something that is very easy to make fire with, that's really what it is at the end of the day, and that's what Plux is, too. I think we're done going through all of the presets here for Haven. Yep, so we're at DeFi, Bella Trap.
Make a beat out of that. He did that one already. Okay, we did those. Two more. I think we did that one already. Hold on. I think we did this. Last one. All right, we are done with Haven. If you didn't get the plugin already, you can go ahead and get it in richaudio.com. You'll see links all over my YouTube. Go get it. It's 15 bucks, whatever. It's fire. I love it so much. Um, I'm going to, I want to try one more time to load up Plux because it's just, it's a really good plugin and it's dropping on Friday. And unfortunately, FL Studio just won't open Plux correctly. It's it's just, it's really unfortunate, man. Like, it's opening Haven instead of Plux. And I clearly dragged Plux into my VST3 folder. And for whatever reason, it's just not reading it. Um, maybe I could rename it. So here's what I'll try to do. I'm going to quit FL. Um, and then what I'll do is just 
just to do it to do it um let me go ahead and copy the plux folder onto my desktop so we'll do that first so i'm not like permanently changing anything and then what i'm going to try to do is rename i'm going to rename flux um because clearly it's the right version i'm not tripping because reason opened it up with no problem so i know it's there i know the components are there all the presets everything is in in there but fl just doesn't want to open it fl doesn't want to open it this is plux right shop it on friday um super super proud of it and i want to show you guys but uh fl's not 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 opening it so here's the the plux vst okay um this should work for sure i don't know why it's not so i'm going to just like rename it enrich audio plux v2 maybe that'll throw off the fl algorithm somehow um so that's v2 so we're gonna go into my hd um we're gonna go to uh library audio plugins vst3 and then we're gonna get rid of plux the old plux that's in there trash empty trash Okay, I'll even, let me get rid of Haven as well. Okay, I'm going to get rid of Haven. And then we're only going to put Plux, the new Plux that I renamed V2. So Mac OS X, VST3, Enrich Audio Plux V2. Now we know that we're getting the right version. You guys saw me do that. Okay. Now let's open FL. Let's scan. And then let's try. Okay, so let's open up the plugin manager. Let's go ahead and f scan one more time. Blah, blah, blah. Scan. Let's see if Plux V2 comes up. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure it did. I think I saw it. VST3. Um, VST3. Enrich Audio Plux V2. Okay, so it's... There's a question mark there, so that's weird. Number one. Status does not say okay yet. So, it looks like there's a potential error there. Um, I really want to show you guys, though. So Ice Per said, just add different folder search path with only Plux and uncheck other folders with plugins. Add to favorites. That's that's so advanced for me, dude. <laughs> that's too advanced for me, man. Plugins, install, generators, VST3, Plux V2. I don't think this is going to work. Peace to the gods and heavens if it does. Pinwheel, pinwheel, pinwheel. Pinwheel, pinwheel, pinwheel. What do you have in store? It works. Guys, it works. It works. Plux works. Okay. Here we go. 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 Here we motherfucking go. we're officially in action okay so here's what we're gonna do i know it's a long stream right now but we got we got some time i'm gonna use the bathroom i'm gonna go take a piss i really have to take a piss when i come back in literally one minute i'm gonna show you all the presets to my new plugin plux that's dropping on friday um 
it's 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 a doozy man i'm proud of this one um let me use the bathroom and i'm gonna play you a beat while we wait and then when i come back i'll sh I'll, I'll, I'll walk you through the plugin okay Ooh, i'm starting to like fl now maybe i should make a beat i'm just kidding Okay, let's play a beat. I don't know what this sounds like. Guys, you know what another funny thing is? That was like a two hour ordeal. Just to, but you guys know the struggle though. If you're listen, if you're a producer or an engineer, you know this struggle. Like we all go through this. The installing and the this and the license and the oh it's not working and I have to scan the thing and blah 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 blah. So anyway, all right, let's go. Here we go. I present to you <clears throat> my new plugin called Plux. Simply put, P-L-U-X. And Plux is, I would say, almost what you think it is. Um, you know, when I'm making music, I... And this is just me personally, like even with all of the millions of plugins that you've seen me that I have, I still find it kind of difficult to find good lead plucks um, or just lead sounds. You know, a lot, a lot of what's trending right now and a lot of things that we default to are like bells or flutes or, you know, synth leads are more so for like electronic music, which is fine too. Um, but I think that we have kind of hit a wall with the types of lead instruments that we use. Obviously, you can go classic. You can lead with a guitar. You can lead with an organ. You can lead with a piano. Uh, and there's a million different kinds out there. So I didn't want to do any of those. So I wanted to create an instrument that kind of solves that problem where it gives you plucks leads that have different textures some are weird some are more basic um but i wanted to create that instrument so that um when you're in there making a lead uh you can use these and you can use these as an option and and you know obviously you could play chords with these as well you can do whatever you want you can get really creative um but the way that I sound designed these presets, um, it, they were this instrument was meant to be played as a lead, basically. Uh, so a lot of riffs and melodies that you would want to compose with it. Uh, but you can totally do chords with it too. Now the cool thing about this plugin is, unlike Haven, uh, which we purposely did that by the way, but for this, uh, I added in ADSR so you can control your attack, decay, sustain, release knobs. 
uh, on each sound. And then there's also a reverb and delay knob here as well. Uh, and they all uh, the reverb and delay control the intensity. So I can show you a little bit of that too. And then you have this new little uh, VU meter that's on top and that moves while you're playing. So, uh, and then there's your presets. We have 26 presets as usual. 26 is sort of our, um, in my mind, kind of like the go-to number of presets. And, you know, you have these instruments that are out here that have like a million presets, like a hundred presets, 500 presets. And it, it's, it's like more, is too, it's like too much because, and you guys tell me in the chat room, if you've done this, you've buy a new instrument or whatever. It's the same story. Every time you load up the VST and then you're going through a million presets and like you have to go through literally 15, 20, 30, 40 maybe until you get to that one that you think sounds really good and then you save it into your favorites and then you go through another hundred to find a few more and out of all the hundreds of presets that these instruments come with you end up only using maybe two or three or four that you really like that you think are really cool and the other ones you have to get in there and really turn the knobs and tweak and try to get to sound right and by the time you're tweaking knobs you've lost all of your inspiration um for me personally, that's been my experience. And I always find that found that to be like not helpful um, with the music making process. Music is about being in the moment. It's about being present. It's about being in flow. It's about being inspired by texture. And yo, motherfuckers don't got time to be turning knobs, bro. Like serum and all that shit is like, it's cool. I respect it. And it's good for sound designing. Obviously, I, I use some of that stuff too to sound design stuff. But when you're in when you're in there and you're in front of that keyboard and you have FL open or whatever DAW you're using, and you're clicking in and you're trying to find inspiration, you want to be able to find that texture as quickly as possible, a texture that speaks to you. And that's what enrich audio is. Like that's what Haven is. That's what Plux is, and that's what all of my VSTs are going to be. You're not going to, I'm not going to give you a hundred plugins where 94 of them are useless and six of them are good. I'm going to attempt to give you 26 plugin uh, presets that are all special and all textured and all weird and all will give you inspiration. And uh, um, this is a problem that I'm solving for myself. Uh, and I'm hoping it solves a problem for you too. So that's my mission. That's my mission. Um, uh, JK said only plugin that doesn't apply, uh, to it, in my opinion is analog lab best plugin by far. Any synth plugin. Yeah. Analog lab is amazing. Amazing. Um, but again, we don't have too many out there, you know? So, okay. So let me walk you through plucks. Let's go. All right. First plugin is Fixapo. Hold on. Hold on. I pressed too many buttons. So, you know, it's still acting a little weird, FL, but that's okay. I put actual water. Uh, what do you call it? Um, what do you, what is the category? What do you call it? Uh, Foley. Foley. J Keys, you're the man. I appreciate you. And Rich Audio, you know where to go. That's the sub. I'm glad you like it. Okay. Next preset. Oboe Less. See, like even the preset names are just like you can't name it anything normal like i'm just trying to we're just tapping into some different shit 
This is what Obola sounds like. So you can see we can increase the delay even more. Let me put the delay up and let's put some reverb up too. Let's go up. You hear that tail? Very cool. And then I could even mess with the uh, sustain and the K and release. So if we decrease these, we got a different sound. See that? Let me get rid of some of the attack. So some weird stuff. So let's keep the attack and get rid of the decay, sustain, release. See that? So you don't have that much of a trail. So you can totally do that. So you see, this is just one preset. So we only went through two. Our third preset on the list. DJ Ruro said, are you on the Beyonce album? I am not. But it's an incredible album. I'm having so much fun enjoying that album. <clears throat> Our third preset uh, on my new VST Plux that drops on Friday. Our third preset is Sendis. Here's Sendis. <laughs> See, like it doesn't sound like anything. It sounds like Sendis. It sounds like a baby chicken from another planet. Okay, our fourth preset is Naftaco. Naftaco, let's go. Thank you. 
And again, I'm not touching any of the knobs. I'm just showing you guys the presets in their purest, most organic form. But you couldn't go crazy. Like, I can increase the delay on this and it'll sound nuts. Like, and then if I turn the reverb up, it's like a whole nother thing. See? Nice tail. Our fifth preset is called Horbatra or Horbatra. Hor Hor. Horbatra. Horbatra. Here's Horbatra in its purest form. Jay Keys, thank you. For real, bro. RJC, I appreciate you. All of you guys. Too many of you guys to name. Go low, too. I guarantee you there's no other plugin that sounds like this. This is a guitar pluck that I recorded in this room, pitched it all the way down, EQ'd the hell out of it, uh, made it thick, and then did some. I layered it with like a, a uh, like a filtered profit stab, and then I uh, I forgot exactly what I did with this one, but like I remember when I stumbled upon it, I was like, whoa, this is kind of like reminds me of like Busta Rhymes, put your hands where your eyes can see, like. Uh, it just sounds like trouble. Sounds like trouble is approaching. Okay, our next preset is Ellie Pillow. Ellie Pillow. Ellie Pillow in its purest form. Ooh, there's a fifth in here. I forgot I put a fifth in here. Okay. This is Eli, Elipilo, Elipilo. So I trip it a little bit. <clears throat> so there's actually like a, it's like a fifth kind of, um, but it's really, really interesting. Right there. Jakey says, I have like every plugin you can think of, and this plugin, I gotta say, sounds like it's been carefully designed because every sound is fire, and for the price, if you don't get this, I don't know what to tell y'all. Jakey's, that really, you made my day, bro. That really means a lot. I, guys, I put a lot <laughs> of um, brain power and 
and like trial and error to just try to get to the best sounding presets and best sounding plugin possible uh it trust me it took a lot like a lot of iterations a lot of experimenting um but I, I appreciate that, Jakey's. I'm glad you think that, man. I, I put a lot of love into this stuff. Okay. Our next preset is Xylox. So like I said, like, I want every preset. My intention is that, like, every preset is, like, really usable. Like, I don't want... I don't want you guys to skip any of the presets. Like I want all 26 to be like really, really, really fire. Okay, so here's Xylox in its purest form. Put some delay on that. Let's put some reverb on it. Our next preset is Atticub. This one's weird. I remember this one. Oh no, not the one I was thinking of, but this one's awesome. That's Atticub in its purest form. Our next preset is Talaha or Talaha or Talaha, however you want to say it.
that's Talaha. Um, a little bit of a Middle Eastern vibe, but not exactly. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a clav and a sitar sort of hybrid instrument. And again, Plux was meant to be played, if you're using your two hands, it's meant to be played where your left hand is hitting a bass note and then your right hand is creating a melody. And if you've noticed, that's kind of the style of playing that I've been showing you. Uh, I'm not doing like big chords necessarily. You can with Plux, but Plux was really meant to create a lead melody sort of like the star of the show so i kind of look at each instrument here as like the star of the show that's why they're so um harsh and so uh they take up a lot of um space in your frequency band because they were meant to these the plucks was meant to be a lead instrument like you're not going to use this and like you know i mean you might but you're not going to use this and like Put it in the background you know this is a very aggressive sitar string hybrid instrument see what i mean i really went crazy with the short delay on that um our next preset is wonder and as you can see like 26 is kind of like the magic number in my mind like 26 fire presets like Definitely worth it. Okay, this is Wonder. This is one of my favorite ones because it's like it's like a plucky it's it's a pluck but it's it's got some real it's it's like warm not too not too aggressive it's got some smack to it it's almost like um it's like a uh, a guitar and a steel drum you guys hear those steel drum notes in there i'm going to use um foodie foodie terms there's some there's some steel drum notes in there flavor notes you get a little bit of flavor notes steel drum flavor notes in there there's definitely some string notes in there Our next preset, and we're not even halfway, we're only halfway through the presets. Um, Quest, Questkey. If you guys want to pre order Plux, you can pre order this VST on enrichaudio.com. <clears throat> it drops on Friday. Ooh, yeah, I remember this.
Let's add some delay to this. Crazy. Oh my God. Let's tile it back a little bit. Too much delay. Yeah, the VU meter is definitely a Ferrari gauge for sure. Or the VU here is actually uh, your temperature gauge that you stick in the turkey when your turkey is in the oven. And you want to stick the thermometer to check the temperature of the chicken that's in your oven. The pluck, the chick that's in your oven. You use this VU meter to stick it right in, right in that flesh to uh, check the temperature. I mean, this one, this is, this is crazy. Get rid of some of the delay. This is a mean string. This is like Wild Wild West. This is this is um Kill Bill Part Three. Let's keep it breezing. Yeah, Bella. Here's our next preset. I'm going to turn off my mic when I press the keys because you guys can hear me hit my keyboard, can't you? And it's messing with the attack of what you hear. So I'm going to turn my microphone off when I hit the keys. I want you to try to hear the um the decay on this like listen to the sustain uh, of these instruments I, I i played a lot of little tricks little sound design things um this one's got a got a weird uh nice textured um sustain on it listen you hear that
This one's nuts. Okay, so that's the Abella. Let's let's keep it going because we have been doing this for a while. If you're just tuning in, I'm showing you guys my new plugin. It's called Plux P L U X. It drops on Friday. Um, this Friday, Plux will be available on EnrichAudio.com. You'll see a bunch of YouTube videos on it, so you can click from there. All right, our next plugin is Bisco, Bisco Duck. I want you to hear that sustain. Boom, wing, yum, wing, layered with like a mean sine wave on top. That's big. Raphael, Haven is out already. So did you buy Haven or did you pre-order Plux? If you bought Haven, then you should see a download link in your email. And the download link appears right after you purchase. But Plux uh, comes out tomorrow. Or I'm sorry, Friday. And again, like I said, okay, Raphael, so you should have it in your email. Check your email, my G. Let me know if you don't see it. Um, our next preset on Plux is Rendis. This one's one of my favorites. It's kind of like a voice. It almost sounds human.
Yeah, bro. And you see, like, we we're only halfway through the presets, and you know, we have a lot more to go. Pinwheeling a little bit. It's probably my computer. Our next preset is gelato. Everyone loves a nice gelato. And again, I'm not using any of the knobs here. I'm just going through the presets in their raw form. Our next preset is Zipic. 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 Here we go. Oof. Another fifth. That's Zipic. Our next preset is Dicoma. Dicoma. Plux drops on Friday. Oof. Hear that? Our next plugin is Lunbar. Alexander, you have no idea, my bro. Get your head out of your ass, Alexander. Here's Pesky. Pesky is Pesky. Hear that little... You got a little... Raphael said, um, no download link um, before it came out, but never got an email. Okay, I got you, Raphael. Send me an email. Raphael, Raphael, send me an email, and I'll reply with the link. Don't worry about it. Our 
next instrument preset is Malfoy. damage on that sustain infidel is next Our next preset is Jennifer. Our next preset is Undersco. hear that sustain pretty cool all right our last two presets wind chim kind of has like a yamaha dx7 feel fm synthesis Okay, our last preset is Kinfolk.
Wow. I can't believe I'm using FL right now. Okay. <clears throat> so. Let's see. Okay. All right. This is Plux. And it will be available on Friday. Go get it. You can go pre-order it now. It's only 15 bucks, 14.99. Um I'm tapped. We've been streaming for 3 hours. We're finally uh I have Fruity Loops on my computer, but I'm not going to make beats in it. I just wanted to show you my plugin. Um, because Reason does not use VST3 and Blue Cat patchwork is acting really weird. So I just got Fruity Loops so I can show this to you. But um, uh, I really appreciate you guys. It's Wednesday, so it's our last stream. Um, I'm probably going to stream um, on Friday, I think. I'll let you guys know in the YouTube. Um but today technically is our last stream for the week. So um, I'm excited. Anoush, I appreciate it, man. I'm excited about Plux. Um, Enrich Audio is, you know, my new company. And um, I'm just going to focus on trying to create the best sounding, most usable and textured VST instruments I can make. And um, I'm hoping it's really helpful for you guys to get inspired and to just take you out of your element a little bit and push you a little bit and give you um, some much needed inspiration amongst the sea of plugins that all sound this, that are starting to sound the same. I mean, it's almost like if you heard one, you heard them all. Um, this, the, the, I don't know what else to say, you know, and, um, I really do want to give a lot of love to Omnisphere because I remember, man, like Omnisphere was a breath of fresh air when it first came out. Um, and, you know, it was innovative because it was, it was different, different type of engine, different type of approach. And uh, I respect that man for doing that. And so now we are seeking uh other types of instruments and other textures and you know i'm creating these plugins for me so that i can use them uh but to be able to do these and put them out and deploy them into the world for you guys to use as well feels really good it really feels good so we have one plugin that's out already it's called haven um been getting a lot of incredible feedback from you guys it's your consider it your secret weapon you know, if you're in the studio and you load up Haven, people are going to look at that GUI. They're going to look at that picture and be like, what is that? Um, because they've never seen anything like it before. And that was also another big motivator to why I'm creating really wacky and colorful graphic user inf interfaces for my enriched plugins because we're, it, it's a statement. You know, I'm really trying to make a statement here. Um, and I want it to look like a statement when you load it up on your DAW. If you're in the studio with someone and you load it up, they're going to look at it and say, okay, what is that? And then you hit the keys and it's like, whoa, that sounds cool. That sounds wild. Um, and the, my plugins are going to continue to look and feel and sound like this, you know, that is the enrich audio way. So glad you guys like it. I'm doing something different. I'm not out here trying to like do the same plugins over and over and over again, where you have your sine wave and you have your this and you have all your knobs. It's almost like <coughs> plugins are like, hey, here's a million knobs. You do all the hard work. We'll just like create a basic FM synthesizer um uh 
and like here's all here are all the knobs you choose it all like it, you guys do the work hard work um that's what it feels like i mean chat let me know like do you guys feel that way like and no offense to them it's a different type of thing and i'm not knocking it but that's what it feels like it's like hey here's our instrument we're gonna charge you a hundred dollars for it or more um here's a million presets and a million knobs and by the way like you have to use the knobs in order for you to look in order for you to make something that sounds like good and I'm not talking about all of them, but a lot of them, guys. Like, I'm not the only one out here. I'm a free, I'm a VST, like, I am a VST, like, hoarder. You've seen my scanning, my plugins. Um, and I know a lot of you guys are, too. Um, and again, I'm not talking about all of them. There's some really great ones. Um, but I'm, I'm trying to cut through the noise here. I'm cutting through the noise and I'm not out here making you guys do the work. I'm opting in to do the work for you. Um, and ultimately just create, you know, VSTs that are fun to use. That's what it is. They're fun. They're colorful. They look crazy. You're going to turn heads. If you load it up on your computer, they sound great and you're going to make something different and cool and weird. And it's affordable. End of story. That's it. That's our ethos. So anyway, guys. Enrich Audio, Plux. This drops on Friday. Uh, Jewel B said, are you going to do another pre-order loop pack for Plux? Yes, I am. We're going to stream on Friday. I'm going to do... I'm going to make loops in Plux. Oh, should I make loops in Fruity Loops? Oh, that means I have to learn how to use FL. Oh, man. Okay, I'm going to try to figure that out. But anyway, I'll stream on Friday. I'll see you guys on Friday. I'm out. Thank you guys for, for, for sticking around. I'm going to grab some lunch. Peace, one love. Where is it? Here it is. Any opportunity to celebrate, it's always diamonds <laughs> up. <laughs>